I fell in love with the Concord and Ninth festive friends, festive friends stamp set the minute I saw it and could not wait to create cards. I wanted to show you how you can take one main stamp set and use it in different ways with the same coloring medium. I use Zig Clear Clean Color Real Brush Markers, can't talk today, for all three of the cards. And then I switched up some of the components to get different looks. I also use the Concord and Ninth Let It Snow Turnabout Stamp. So let's get started. And I'm also using the Concord and Ninth Wheat Cardstock. Now Concord and Ninth has what's called a jig. Do you see that X there? You put that into your Misty. And then each of their turnabouts has a clear transparency. You line that X up on the jig and then you line your stamp set on top of that clear transparency and close the door of your Misty. So now you are lined up completely and all you do is you stamp one side. I'm using Lawn Fawn Yeti ink and I'm putting temporary tape on the back so it doesn't keep moving around. The upper right hand corner you'll see a one. Well, you saw it real quick. So I put the I put it in there. I, I stamped it with the Lawn Fawn Yeti ink. I'm getting a good impression with my microfiber. And then I'm going to turn it a quarter turn. I always go counterclockwise. I'm going to do two quarter turn counterclockwise, three, and then four. And the beauty about this stamp set is you can use different colors if you want or different mediums. And then I'm cleaning it because with the ultra clean because the Yeti ink is hard to get off. And so now I'm trying a little bit different. I'm putting my anti-static powder tool down to get rid of all the static. I stamped it four times around with a Versamark ink. And then I'm using the Hero Arts um, Icicle, I'm sorry, Brutus Monroe Icicle embossing powder, hitting it with my heat tool. And I wish you could see the glitter that's in there. Um, it's hard, it does not show up on camera. Now I did stamp a six by six piece of cardstock. I will cut it down to fit my cards. I like to start out with a six by six and then I always have scraps left over for other projects. It's always good to have scraps left over for other projects. In order to color, get a really good color with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, I use Bristol Smooth Cardstock and Hero Arts Intense Black Ink. And my ink pad is a little dry, which is why I'm stamping it over and over. Again, the beauty of the Misty. And I'm going to heat set that because I do not want that ink to blend while I'm coloring. Um, I have this um, swatch set. and I'm not really sure where I got it, and I will link to it below and let you know where I got it. And I did all my swatching with that. And so I'm going to just, not I'm not going to show you all the coloring. I did speed it up. I am not a colorer. I just put a little bit of dark on the edges and then I blend it out with the light. And I'm going to do the same with the green. I'm looking for what color do I really want. I do do a little flicking action if you see here. And then I'm going to come down with my light green marker and I'm just going to blend it all out. Again, it is not rocket scientist. This is... This is not great coloring. Um, if you want really great coloring, check out Sandy Allnock. I will link to her below. She has great coloring. So I just fast forwarded this just a little bit to kind of show you what I did. I kind of picked bright, vibrant colors. Now, in the upper right hand corner of that pink present with the purple bow, I totally messed it up. Something happened. Is the marker kind of ran. So I was trying to figure out how can I fix it without starting all over. So first thing I did was cut them out with the matching dies and then I stamped another present and I recolored it. I fussy cut out the rest. Now the top part I did use the die and I did take a little black sharpie you'll see in a sec and cut off color the bottom and I'm lining it up to see Huh, you don't even know and I'm letting you know right now unless I told you you would never know so I'm cutting up a little bit of the presents so they don't show I'm putting a little bit of Sharpie on the bottom of the edges there sorry it's off camera I'm gluing it down lining it up and that is my 
Boo Boo Fix. You would never know. I love the fact that you would never know. So here are my two girls. I'm putting some Nouveau Crystal um, drops on it. Um, the Nouveau pen, you gotta be careful because this is water and it will blend these zig markers. So I had to make very make sure that I wasn't overlapping the colors. So I cut this down to a, I think four and a quarter by five and a half. No, it's, yes, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of um, A2 size. And I'm lay, trying to lay out, how do I want my card to look? I'm not really sure. I hadn't used this stamp set before. What look am I trying to achieve? Well, I felt that the white and the craft were a little boring. So I wanted to add a little pop of color and I'm marking where I'm gonna trim this off. I've really been into matting my cards lately and putting some border around all the colors. I'm not sure if that's because it's Christmas time or what, but it's really been, been making me happy adding all these mats. So I added some twine from my stash. I, I peeled off the white that I already glued on because I wanted to give the girl a little bit of grounding to, to, to sit on. And I glued it right on back down. Um, and I will link to some of the um, twines that you can find out there. And I use these um, scrapbook, I think it's scrapbook adhesive um, foam squares. I love these. Again, I will link everything in the blog post. So please check out the blog post. Gluing this to a A2 four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. And that's how I do it. I kind of get two sides even. Then if I have to trim, I trim. And then I wanted to work on this second one. And you will see that first card um, close up in just a sec. So I use these um, crimped frame dies. And then I, I cut the bigger one out of the um, wheat card stock. And I cut uh, the medium sized one out of the white. And I put a little twine from my stash. I popped up my girl on their foam squares. And I cut out three Marys and glued them together. And then I put some, and I put it on top of the back of this scrapbook adhesives foam squares. And then I put some glossy accents on top and I set it aside to dry. And the reason I put it on this is because it's, it's slick surface. And so I knew it wouldn't stick to it. So I actually used a, sorry, I used packaging, old packaging from the trash. So I just put a little bit of glossy accents all over it. Let it, set it aside to dry. I don't want to mess it up at this point because I'm almost done. Then I felt like the background was a little boring, so I grabbed some Nouveau Crystal Drops out of my drawer. Um, I think I used the glitter and the gloss. My red one was not working, otherwise I would have put some red down. Always burp them first on a separate piece of paper so you can get the air out. And I just laid out dots in different colors, and I think that personally added a big pop of color to this otherwise pretty card, but not a lot of interest card. So I set it aside to dry and then I popped it up, not popped it up. I glued it on a red piece of cardstock, a frame. Sorry, I have spiky hair. It always gets in the way. And I'm just lining it up, making sure I've got an even border. The red is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I'm going to take that Mary. It's all dry now. And um, I'm going to glue that on my girl. And I just love the, vi the bright, vibrant colors of this one. I think I need to go get myself some yellow leggings and a green sweater with some fringe. And then with slimline cards being all the rage, well, before I get there, sorry. So here's a look at the two cards side by side, totally different looks using the same main stamp set and the same turnabout stamp set. So now I'm moving into slim line. I've cut this down to nine inches and I'm scoring it at four and a quarter. And I found this is the easiest way to do a slim line card. And then I'm gonna cut the two sides together down to four, uh, three and three quarter. I find if I cut them separately, I don't ever get them lined up correctly. So I just want one girl. I want the girl with the tree so I'm gonna stamp her again with the Hero Arts Intense Black Ink, and I'm gonna color her again with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. But first I'm grabbing these Pink Fresh Slimline Diagonal Stitch Rectangles, 
and I cut one out, the largest one out of some Nina 110 pound card. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That is Bristol Smooth cardstock there. And I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink blending. And I am not a really good ink blender, which is why I use um, Bristol Smooth cardstock. I find it easier to blend with that. I also find oxides easy to blend. So I grabbed the Lom Fawn Slimline um, Stitch Hillside Borders because I wanted to have my girls sitting on some snow. So I needed to see how far up do I need to do the light color of ink. And you'll notice I get some fingerprints on here. So I grab myself a post-it note and put my fingers on it so that I'm not getting fingerprints all over my card base. You see the fingerprints there? And I sped this up because it's just basic blending and I'm not really that good at it. So I'm going to put all of that away and I'm going to hit it with some water. Um, I'm kind of getting some big drops and some little drops because I wanted to have it look a little bit like snow. And I love this little light mist. And I pick up the excess with my microfiber. Now, stamp, Simon says stamp has this great large falling snow stencil. It's meant for a slim line, but it's meant to go horizontal. And I want vertical and I want heavy snow at the top. So I grab the Gina K Iridescent Glitter Glitz. And then you can also use the Nouveau Moonstone. I couldn't get the top off mine. That's why I use the Glitter Glitz with, the, with any kind of spatula. And I've taped it down, if you see the purple tape behind. And I'm giving it a good layer of glitter glitz. And I'm going to take my, um, what's it called, uh, a spatula pal. I don't remember. I'll link it down below for you, or I'll link it in the blog post. Um, and I'm scraping off the excess and putting it back in the jar. And then now I'm trying to figure out how I can get snow down at the bottom without messing up the wet snow that's up above, because I, of course I don't want to wait. So I'm kind of lining it up. I do get a little on the off top of it. I kind of scrape it off, line it up. And when it's all said and done, you really don't know. And I set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to color this one again. I'm the same coloring as before. I'm making a lighter tree this time. I'm testing out my markers on the, um, on the paper. And when you blend your colors with the light to a dark, you need to clean off the tips of your markers because you are picking up the color of the other marker. I did like the yellow of the leggings of the other girl, so I thought I'd keep that same yellow. And I'm just going to finish coloring her up. And as you can see, I'm cleaning and testing my markers just to make sure everything's clean. I wanted to give her a little bit different color than I did before, but kind of keep it the same. The person who gets the card will never know there is one similar to it. And you can see, I'm not, I'm not a fancy color. -er -er -er. <laughs> so I'm taking this panel and I'm cutting it out with the largest of the rectangle dies. I got my snow on it. I'm laying out my girl and I just thought that she got totally lost on that big panel. Now in September, Simon Says Stamp and Long Fawn had a collaboration called Seasons Tweetings, and I think I don't think you can get it anymore. But I stamped this twice because I love the lights. I'm sure you can find, you know, Christmas lights or string lights somewhere. And I colored them all in different colors. And what I should have done, I should have die cut them first and then stamped them because I did not the die cut that would not line up because it is a the stamp is a little um, stretchy. But they look pretty good, I think. But that's how I should, I should have die cut them and then I should have stamped them. So I'm coloring them all in different colors and I'm going to die cut them, both those strings out. And as I'm laying it out, I'm realizing that she is just totally lost on that background and I need to do something a little bit different. So I grab the other stitch rectangle and I cut it out a little bit smaller. And I just think she fits so much better there proportion wise. I cut down the hillside. I'm laying out my, I laid out my sentiment and now I'm putting glossy accents on all of my lights and then I set this aside to dry. I've come back, it's dry and I'm putting some 3M foam tape on my tree and there she is. So I want to do a whole lot of matting on this one and this is how I, this is how I swatch all of my cardstock. I have a free download, some cardstock, ink, whatever you need. It's all there. I will link to all that for you. I'm just showing you that you can't get the slimline out of the width of a piece of cardstock. 
So I want a little tiny border. So I laid it out two sides, cut out the other two. I want a little tiny border of white. And then I cut the red out of the largest of the stitch rectangles. And I'm sorry if this goes so fast. I feel like my, my videos are, they just go on forever. So I cut out the boring bits and just want to give you the highlights of what I did. So this is one of my favorite products and I should have put it down first. It's Snow Tex. Um, and I'm just putting it down with a spatula. I'm being kind of messy. I put it on top of her boots because when you're walking in snow, snow does get in your boots. It dries hard and I love this card. I think for me, what made this card pop was the snow at the bottom. So here they are again, totally different darker tree, the Let It Snow Turnabout stamp set. And then we have this one, same, you know, stamp, stamp set, but I use that crimped framed eyes, which I love with the red border. And there they are side by side. Both have rib, I mean, twine. Again, totally different. I just love how you can get totally different. And then you have this one with the snow at the bottom. And here she is buying her own Christmas tree. And she went to the, to the tree farm. You've got the, the Gina K Glitter Glitz up there. You've got the white from the Distress Oxide and you have the snow. So go ahead, get the stamp sets. You'll love them. They're really fun to use. There's so many different projects you can make and have fun making some Christmas cards.